I want to take you through a project that I call the Toy Soldier. It's an illustration that uh, is done in, in, on Illustrator, and it is uh, to show you or take you through the steps of producing an illustration. Now, I'm not going to ask you to do an illustration. You may have artistic background talents uh, or not, and usually when people are pressed into that, oh, I can't draw, I can't do that. I want you to see how it's done. And in doing this project and reproducing or handling these parts, you're going to uh, see how they're put together and perhaps you'd like to try on your own to do some of this stuff in the future. Here is uh, the picture of uh, Mr. Toy Soldier in Illustrator. And I'm going to uh, crack him up a little bit here. And you can see that it's just a plain standing male figure with a red coat on, blue pants with a yellow stripe, boots, uh, some cross uh, belt braces, and some epaulets. And then his face, he's wearing a hat with a gold chain and a little insignia and a bit of furry hat. His face is made up of parts that are the eyes and the cheeks and the noses and the lips upper and lower, the chin, the, the head itself, and the neck. Now, what I want you to do is open the Toy Soldier Start, and you're going to see this. I've taken it apart. Uh, let's start with this side here. This is the background where there is a gradient uh, blue to light blue uh, rectangle, and then there is a uh, stripe that fits. You can see the stripe fits right here up next to the rectangle. They're separated at the moment. And then there's a gradiated circle here that uh, fits behind the, the soldier. You can see over here, too, that I've created a lot of gradients, uh, both radial and, and linear, that are, are used in part of this, uh, as parts of this drawing. Now, the middle here in the, on the artboard is the layout. There, this back here is that blue background, and here is that bronze copper-colored stripe and here is that circle that's uh, centered itself on these center lines and then here is um, black outlines of the body parts and where they go now over here then is the body parts I've separated them so that you can see here's the the head and it, it has this uh, particular gradient here that there's a hot spot and I've just made it like an egg and then over the egg, I have placed, uh, let's get close up and see some of these um, items here. Uh, <clears throat> I've made the eyes. Now, the eyes are a complete unit here. I've, I've grouped them together. There is the black and the blue and the white and the dot on the eye and eyelashes, eyebrows, upper lid, lower lid, or, or bags under the eyes, lower eye um, lashes. Uh, Next to the eye is, uh, on the head, would be the um, hair that comes down under the hat. We don't see a lot of hair other than the sideburns. There's the ears, and you can see the ears have two parts, an outer part and an inner part. Uh, light to dark on the outside, going the other way on the inside to give a concave look to it. The cheeks are treated like they were oranges or balls with the light uh, spot in the cheek rounding. The nose, the same thing. The, cheek, the nose is, is many parts. There's this part right here that's the bridge, the top of the nose, the right nostril, the left nostril, the ball of the nose with a gleam shine on it, and even little black uh, under parts of the nostrils. The lips, the upper lip, the lower lip, and the two little side dimples, the chin. Uh, even the buttons on the coat are, are in place. Now, let's go back to the finished toy soldier and zoom in on his face, and you can see what it looks like all together. Uh, even a little closer. Okay, so the hat and the hat band and the insignia. Now, on the hat, I've given a little fuzzy edge to it so it looks like bare skin of some sort. Um, these marks are done with a pencil. If you select um, these marks, you can see that they have uh, a stroke down the middle. You can also change these strokes to fills by selecting your this chain thing up here and going object, uh, path, outline, stroke. And you see that stroke change from a stroke thickness to now it's a rounded uh, shape. Uh, either way, it, it works. Uh, 
I've done that with the epaulets, uh, where the epaulets are all shapes, and, and they were created first as a pencil stroke uh, at about 10 points with a rounded uh, cap and a rounded joint, and then changed them all over into shapes rather than strokes. They look the same, but they're easier to handle as shapes. Let's go back to face again. You can see now that the, the eye units are in place and the nose comes between them and the, the, the cheeks are placed. Now back here is the actual egg, egg shape of that head. And then I place these parts on it like a Mr. Potato Head. You can see the bill of his cap with a little shine here and a gradient that goes from black to white to black again to make it look like shiny leather. There's a bead here on his hat that's a pencil stroke uh, with uh, maybe 14 or 15 points to it but that would be brass beading on the hat. There is, uh, I, um, I, I, with the pencil tool, I made a lot of strokes with the hair and uh, got the hair in place the, under the cap, side of his head, down, down to his, uh, uh, the hair on the side of his head is sideburns. And the same thing going on with the eyelashes and the eyebrows. Now the eyebrows, a lot of that you're missing under the cap because that's just the way the cap comes down over his head. But the um, gradients and the place and shape of shadows and things to make the head parts fit together as a illustration, they're just shapes. And if you carefully make these things up, you you got them there. Okay, so going back to the start one, uh, here are all the parts. And I would just like to see you virtually take these parts like, like a, a jigsaw puzzle and take, uh, I'll just take a copy of this cheek and pull a cheek over here. Well, let's see, let's get it moved. And, and just put the cheek in place as if you had made it, just to have the experience of handling these objects. Now remember, the first thing you're going to put over there is the, um, is the head, the egg. If I took, take a copy of this egg over here, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, place the egg where it goes right there. And then, uh, of course, it's going to cover up, well, it, it's... The lines here are actual lines, and they're probably in front, and then you can see to put these things on top. Um, I think what I've done with the lines is they're all, well, they're not to all together, but uh, at least lines are in front, and as you place this thing in here, uh, it's going to slide behind the lines. Now, eventually the lines go away when you put things in their place. But there's the egg head, and here's the cheek, and... Uh, See if you can assemble this thing and send me then your version, or that's the assignment, is to, part of the assignment for this, this uh, group of exercises is to reassemble this guy using this uh, feature as an um, example of where to put things. Now, it might be hard to see, but you can perhaps turn this whole thing into a um, guide lines. Remember... How to, let me show you how to do that. If you want to make guides, let's get this a little further out of the way. Now, if I select um, all of the lines here, they're all selected. And to include that back uh, blue and, and copper piece, if I hit Command-5, that turns them all into guidelines. Now, that's good and bad, and that good that you can see uh, where things go, and it will never print, never be part of the printing process. But if you get closer, you have to, you know, reinterpret now a little bit more. There's the cheeks, there's the nose, there's the... The nose is grouped together, so you don't have to worry about all those parts. And the lips are grouped together, the eyes are grouped together. But the hair and the ears and the hat band and that sort of thing, uh, don't let the top hat scare you. It's just showing you guidelines for that fuzzy edge, the insignia, the hat band, the the bill of the cap and uh, and on down through the uniform. The arms and the legs and everything are, are there. If you look over here and, and see the uh, parts, you can see that there's an arm and there's an arm to the same thing, just flipped and copied. The, the, the belts, uh, you just put the belts there together, place them on the uniform and um, just put the, put the thing together at, uh, at your speed and, and, and Virtually reconstruct this illustrate, illustration. Uh, so I'm not calling you to draw stuff. I'm calling you to look at how it's drawn, how it's put together. Simple shapes, simple colors, 
a lot of gradients because you've got eyeball gradients and you've got cheek gradients and head gradients and you've got all these things that you're going to use to put in place. So make yourself your version and if you even want to try a little different gradients and fiddle with that, uh, fine. But make your version of this toy soldier. And uh, that's what I want to see back. But I want to have you have the experience of handling these uh, shapes. You may not have made them and you may not have colored them, but you're going to learn a lot from just handling them. So the toy soldier or Mr. Potato Head exercise is something I want you to complete.